everyone, I'm Kanawai. I'm here at uh, German Craft Beer just to have a chat to Florian, just to find out a little bit more about German Craft and how it all started. Oh, yeah, it started actually about 30 years ago mm -hmm. when my wife went to school with a brewer in Germany who has been brewing a fantastic beer since 400 years. And uh, whenever I visited my parents in law and we went to this little town of Erlangen in, in Bavaria, um, I asked our friend um, mm. if he could bring the beer to London and he would say no. Because my beer is only good because it's so fresh and unpasteurized right here in Erlangen. It would never survive the travel. If you want to, if beer should be fit to travel, you first have to kill it. You have to pasteurize it, you have to filter it, you have to take all the life enzymes and vitamins out and a lot of the flavor out. So he said, I'm never going to do that to my beer. We brewed the beer here since 400 years. That's how it's going to stay. We only sell it here in Erlangen. So for 30 years, we were living outside of Germany and we were suffering because mm. we knew this wonderful beer is out there and we couldn't, couldn't get it okay. anywhere. Um, so finally, finally, uh, 30 years later, our son Felix was old enough and uh, he went to an internship uh, at the brewery and he came back and said, guys, let's brew the beer here in London. Yeah. And we went to our friend and asked him, can we brew the beer in London? And he said, no. Mm. Mm. Just like to say no. <laughs> he said, no, because you need the right water to brew uh. good beer. And the water in London doesn't quite cut it. No. Yeah. So when we said, hey, we have a solution for that. Because my wife and I, um, we've uh, been doing a charity where we use the innovative new technology to distill water. And to create sustainable drinking water. And we said we're going to apply the same technology to the London tap water and we're going to evaporate and condensate it, put the right minerals back in, and we can create the perfect water for your beer, taking all the micropollutants out, all the antibaby hormones, the microplastics, the wow. cocaine residuals, whatever you oh, may oh, find in, yep, in London yep. tap water. Yeah, so really create. Pure water, as a pure water and beer is 95% mm -hmm. water, so it's mm -hmm. super important. Mm -hmm. So we told that to our friend, he said, mm, okay, I ran out of arguments to say no. And since then he has been super helpful and helped us in, in uh, giving his recipes to us, finding the right Braumeister, um, selecting the right technology, so no, it's great. And um, we started brewing here at Mercato Metropolitano, a very lively food market uh, in Elephant Castle mm -hmm. in the middle of London. And it has been an unbelievable success. I mean, we're doing much better than predicted in our business plan. People love the beer, they come back and say, hey, this is, this is wonderful stuff. Cheers to that. <laughs> so, how are you financing all of this? What's, what's the mechanism behind it to make this kind of grow and sustain itself in terms of growth? So my, my son Felix and his two friends, uh, Anton and uh, Michaela, who started the brewery, they, they really run the brewery. But we have been thinking about how to scale it up and how to make a movement out of, out of this whole thing. And then we went, went even further back in history. We, we looked at the origin of beer. Yeah. And yeah. beer was created about 10,000 years ago. And before beer, there was nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nothing in terms of civilization. So mankind was still running behind the beer. Uh, we were hunters and gatherers, and uh, you know, very, 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 very basic, basic, basic things happen. But then, because of beer, people started to grow grain, and they started agriculture. Because agriculture came community, yeah. came settlement, came religion. Yeah. All what what makes humans humans, and what started civilization is really the force of beer. From this. <laughs> yeah. So we said, hey, um, since ten thousand years. A good pint of fresh beer had a very stable value mm. in terms of comparison to your income and comparison of, of GDP and, and all these kind of measures. Um, much more stable than, let's say, gold or, or oil or diamonds or, or currencies, yeah, which come and go, and you don't have to trust the government for trust your currency. So we said, this is a commodity which is worldwide available, which has a stable value. It's the ideal basis to start a new currency, a uh -huh. cryptocurrency, uh -huh. underwritten by a pint of beer. So that's what we're going to do. We're giving the world the craft beer coin, which is underwritten by a pint of beer, our own pints of beers, yes. but also other participating breweries. Yeah, so we're creating an yeah. ecosystem of independent, thriving craft beer breweries, which have good sustainable values, creating fantastic beers, and are financed basically out of the community of beer lovers around uh -huh. the world. Uh -huh. So I think that's a very innovative way of looking at it, but it, it gives us 
the, the leverage to create that movement, mm -hmm. which, which we hope will, will really help thrive with this sure. wonderful, wonderful stuff. And it's not, is it just beer that you're initially doing, or what, what goes after that? What, what's the you know, we, we love beer, yeah. And, yeah. and beer is a wonderful thing, because yeah. everybody can imagine a good pint of beer, yeah. and one can see immediately the right value for it. Mm -hmm. But no, we are thinking beyond beer, yeah. uh, yeah. so we want we want to also going to do a sustainable water coin, mm -hmm. yeah, to mm -hmm. finance sustainable water projects, mm -hmm. which is going to be underwritten by, by a liter of beer. Uh -huh. um, we're going to okay. create a sustainable food coin, yeah, mm -hmm. given that we're here at Mercato Metropolitano mm -hmm. with all these wonderful sustainable food stands. Yeah. Um, we want to create a coin which basically buys you a good lunch. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we, we have these asset-backed coins which we are which we're creating, which will allow us to bring that movement uh, of of ecosystems which finance out of themselves yeah. across multiple disciplines and I think it's a wonderful new way which is possible because of uh, the abilities which, uh, which uh, all the blockchain technology these days allows uh, people to have uh, distributed ledgers, to have uh, power to the people and create a whole new, whole new movement yeah. of sustainable good beer, good food, good water and that's the plan. Brilliant. So all innovative, new leading edge, completely fundamentally changing how things are consumed, how things are funded, but also more importantly how to make things sustainable in our world. So really, uh, if you guys are interested, subscribe to our social media channels, check out the website for more information, but we'd love for you guys to get involved and come with us on this journey. And most importantly, come by and uh, have a good part of us. Yeah? And, uh, you, when you download the app, you're going to get your first client for free. Uh, enjoy it and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you. Brilliant. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Brilliant. That was much better. That was